privacy is key for Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas. The pair, who got married in France in 2019, like to keep their romance low-key. And the Grammy winner just told Mr. Porter in a new interview why it is important their love stays out of the public eye. Quote, I want to feel like an open book, but when we started dating, I realized that I didn't have a ton of stuff that was just for me. And in the end, it makes me a better person to have something for myself, he told the magazine. However, the Cake by the Ocean singer does acknowledge that being in the public eye is part of what he has to deal with as a famous actor and singer. Quote, I come back to why I do this. I'm still so grateful to do this, so if being in the public eye comes with some of the drama and the eye rolling, and if you have to swat some beef with the person you met once, then so be it. Besides, if it means I get to wake up and do this another day, then it's all worth it. In the candid interview, the DNCE frontman also opens up about fatherhood, specifically how it feels having two children. Quote, I'm a little less scared. You don't need to check their pulse constantly to make sure they're breathing. You get over those fears, adding, I feel like a kid raising kids. Joe and Sophie share two children. They welcomed their first child, a daughter named Willa, in July 2020. They welcomed their second child in 2022, but have not revealed the gender or name just yet. Joe's brother Kevin is a dad and so is Nick. He and his wife Priyanka Chopra welcomed their first child, a daughter named Malti Marie, earlier this year. Back in September, the oldest Joe bro, Kevin, told Access Hollywood how it feels having a family full of girls. And I mean, you mentioned that you guys were a household full, household full of guys, and now your family is full of girls. Were you surprised that how this turned out? Was this like a nice little blessing? And of course, it, it was. Um, it completely altered how everything operates. Uh, but you know, it's it's special. You know, for us, it's it's a new way of looking at the world, and we each have our own journeys. You know, I can just speak to kind of mine and. Yeah. Uh, having these two girls, you know, my girls are eight and five now. So we have our daughter going into her first year of kindergarten this year, which is crazy. And Alina's obviously in third grade, but it's like, it's wild. Both kids are in like real school now. So it's, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a, even more different than it was before. Yeah. Was dropping them off at school super hard if you shed some tears every year? Um, first day walk, like after you like dropped them for the first time and then like left, like I was a little overwhelmed by all of it. It was a little too much to handle um and then of course what's really nuts is like you do that and then the pandemic happens so it was it was a different day for all of us they really started school in a different capacity but luckily now they're you know back in school with their friends enjoying that time and you know i'm just excited that we are finding more and more time and more ways to be together you know we yeah. are family first and we always try to do the best we can to be together but it's not so easy all the time yeah, and I mean, you also mentioned that your daughters are eight and five. I'm curious, how has your parenting style changed now that they're older? Um, a little more understanding in certain things, right? Like explaining why you're saying no to doing mm -hmm. something or explaining to them, you know, it's not just like, no, don't do that. It's like, well, here's why I'm not just talking to talk, like, you know, walking it through with them, letting them understand. So maybe next time they understand why it would be a better choice to do something different. Like, I think just having more of a conversation around um, boundaries with certain things is really important. And as they get older, I'm learning more from them than I would for myself, especially when it comes to like what's trending and what's cool. 